Hello, everybody. This uh, first talk is going to talk about uh, uh, integrating the magic of Docker inside your development environment. And we are going to talk about a plugin uh, that we developed on for Eclipse to bring Docker inside Eclipse. So first of all, let's recap why Docker is, could be, can be magic for us when we are developing. So uh, the first thing is Docker helps isolate and replicate our development environments. So for example, if you want to uh, run a Python script, you just can run this command line and you don't have to bother on which platform you are, what you have installed in your machine. You just have to do Docker and that's the magic of. So the, the second thing is that, that you can, Docker helps to isolate and replicate runtime environments too. So for example, you can run Tomcat the same way and you don't have to bother if you have Java on your machine or if you have uh, some other version of Tomcat you can just issue this command and everything just works. So we have just seen a couple of uh, command line and command line is it's kind of cool. We, we, we use it every day. But when you're coding in your IDE, you just want to stay in your IDE, right? So the problem is that Docker is still not integrated in most of our IDEs. So how could we manage to integrate it, to bring Docker in our IDEs? The first idea we can uh, have is to put our IDE inside Docker. So we would, to, to run Eclipse, we could just Docker run Eclipse and, and Eclipse would, would, would run inside a container. So is it a good idea? Is it a good way to do that? Well, what do you think? Nah, nah, that's not a good idea at all. Because containers are, are not made to run a graphical application and even if we can do it, it's still tricky and not portable. So what should we do? Should we uh, run container inside IDEs? Yeah, of course. So we want Docker, Docker file support in our, in our IDEs. We would like to have compose fig support in our IDEs and we also want to be able to uh, run our, the IDE build system inside containers and the same thing for uh, uh, IDEs runtime environments. So for example, for if we start with the basic Dockerfile support, what do you want? We, we want that we, we want syntax highlighting. That's the first thing, that's the basic thing. So if we go further, you can, uh, you want uh, autocomplete, so if you issue a control space, you want to pop up with Docker file instructions that you can choose. Even further, you want to do a syntax uh, validation so that if you have an error in your Docker file, your IDE tell you that before you issue your Docker build command. So, and more interesting is to have Compose uh, Compose support in your IDEs because if you have Compose support, you can, you can define in your in a file uh, the dependencies between containers, so with links and volumes, and you can also with a click of a mouse just run many containers from when it, from your Compose configuration file. So that's kind of cool. And if you go further, we can just have build systems inside your inside uh, Docker containers that you can run just from your IDEs. For example, you can just use Go image to build a Go source file. And you can choose the version of Go you want to use. And that's kind of cool. And going further, you can also have your runtime environment inside containers. So you don't have to install, for instance, Tomcat, and you just can uh, use a Docker container and you can control it from your IDEs. So let me introduce, uh, let's, I will do a, a, a short demo of uh, the plugin we, we have developed that has some of the features that we just, that I just uh, talked about. That's called the Eclipser and it brings Docker file support inside Eclipse so you can just create a Docker file and you have Docker file syntax highlighting. You, you have 
uh, autocomplete and validation of the Docker file. So you can build your Docker file inside Eclipse and just use it to uh, build your runtime environment or your build systems just with a click of a mouse. There are some uh, basic Docker commands that are supported like Docker build or Docker run. So, and when, when you're all set, you can also use it to uh, test your application inside, inside Eclipse. So, Doc Clipser is not the only tool that helps to, to bring Docker inside IDEs. There are more, more tools that can do that. So we have built a, a GitHub page just to collect them, to collect all the, all the plugins of, of the IDEs. And for example, you can find it on, 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 on GitHub and there is Sublime Docker, that's a plugin for Sublime Text. Uh, there is also IntelliJ that has native support from 1.4.1 for, for Docker. And there are Eclipse JBoss tools that has supported for Docker too. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Thank DocScale giving the opportunity to be here. <laughs>